Good afternoon. I'm going to present the LSU entry for the SCALE 2009 competition titled Large Scale Problem Solving Using Automated Code Generation and Distributed Visualization. We have identified four cornerstones that need to be addressed in order to be able to solve real world problems on today's and tomorrow's large scale computing resources. And our SCALE 2009 entry is centered around these cornerstones. These are first the programming productivity in order to model complex equations, such as, for example, the Einstein equations. One needs to code the equation so that a computer can solve them, and that is often a complex step. We use the CACTUS framework to couple different physics modules, and once the code has been created, it is necessary to execute the code in a scalable manner on large systems. In this demonstration, we are using the Ranger supercomputer in Austin, in Texas. We are running on 2,000 cores of Ranger with a highly scalable code using the Cactus framework and the Carpet Adaptive Mesh Refinement infrastructure that we have developed for this. Finally, once the simulation is running and producing results, it is important to have the sufficient I.O. bandwidth in order to write the results out to disk to be able to post-process them and also for the fourth and last cornerstone, interactive visualization, in order to be able to analyze, visualize, and understand the results that are created in the simulation. Here we are connected to a web server running on our SCALE 2009 simulation on 2000 cores of Ranger. This web server is built into the Cactus framework and allows people to monitor and also modify and steer the simulation if you have logged in and have the corresponding privileges. Here we are showing the visualization system running that uh, has been described. Uh, this is uh, 42 gigabytes of data distributed across the Lanyon network. Uh, uh, this is being rendered uh, on a graphics cluster at LSU and then streamed uh, here locally uh, uh, using uh, high definition video streaming. Uh, we are using tangible interaction devices locally to control the remote visualization. And each of these components, uh, data rendering, display and interaction, uh, can actually be located everywhere. So the system uh, supports uh, collaboration. That means users at multiple locations uh, can see the video stream and could use uh, tangible devices to steer the visualization. The system satisfies the requirements that we've described. Uh, that is, uh, we have uh, under two seconds uh, for the system to respond when changing the region, region of interest. In this case, uh, moving to a different time step. We have interactive frame rate, uh, high quality video, and uh, collaboration. You can see now uh, how uh, Cornelius is uh, steering the visualization. Uh, the visualization is controlled by tangible devices uh, controlled, uh, developed by him.